We're here at the stems control site. We're looking for evidence of fungal activity in the soil. We found some evidence. Here you can see this bright yellow color. This is actually fungal hyphae. It appears to be involved in decomposing organic matter. One of the central questions we're trying to answer at the stems experiment is the effect of living vegetation on ecosystem processes such as decomposition. In terms of fungi, we need to be able to distinguish between saprotrophic fungi and mycorrhizal fungi. Here we can see evidence of fungal activity, in particular this yellow here is actually fungal hyphae on decomposing organic matter. We suspect that it's a species called pyloderma, so we'll be taking DNA extraction samples back to the lab to confirm the identity. We believe this is a mycorrhizal fungus, but we can't tell by just simply looking at the hyphae. But we have some further evidence here of the fungus that's actually, it's actually associating with the roots. So therefore, that's a very good indication that this is a mycorrhizal fungi. We also suspect that this soil type is a more soil type. And you can see that in this make, mix of hyphae and organic material that it's not very well decomposed. Some researchers speculate that mycorrhizal fungi actually slow down the decomposition process. We also have found evidence of two different types of, types of fungi in this litter layer. Here we can see the yellow, which we've preliminarily identified as a mycorrhizal fungi. But we also have some white hyphae here, which may be a saprotrophic fungi, or it may also be another species of mycorrhizal fungi. In order to verify this, we're going to take a sample and transport it back to the lab for DNA extraction to verify the identity and to confirm that it is indeed a mycorrhizal fungi.